it's not the hardest um, composition in the world. Something quite quick and easy if you want to give it a go. So, um, like I said, there's not much happening in the sky. The sky is grey, um, which isn't that exciting for painting, but we might end up with something a little bit more realistic today. So, I'm going to mix up some ultramarine blue, just a little bit of burnt umber. Weird because I said just a little bit of burnt umber and then I proceeded to put loads of burnt umber in it so we'll try that again and we got more blue and quite a fair bit of white. You could put a lot, bit of water down just to help it flow a little bit. So that's quite dark, that's a little bit darker than I wanted it to be so I'm going to go in with some white again. So I'm going to pop the water in just now as well, which is a similar colour to what we've just mixed up. The only difference is I'm going to make it a little bit lighter, so a wee bit more white. Can add a touch of water to that just to help it flow a little bit. Wee bit of that land there. I actually think it's going to be a bit lighter than that again, so might add a little bit more bite to that. I will do just some white, pure white on top of that. Lighten that bit up there at the horizon line so that it kind of mirrors what's happening in the sky. As we get uh, closer to the foreground, the water becomes a little bit more blue. A darker blue, so I'm going to add a little bit of ultramarine blue to this mixture. Touch more. And then a little bit of brown, see if I can get this right this time. That'll do. Take that right from the bottom. A little bit more water to help it flow. And meet with this lighter colour here and let them blend in together. So I'm going to go back and forward with a brush until I get a nice gradient between the two colours. I'm still wet so it should be easy enough for everything to blend in. So I'm going to jump into some of these trees and things now and I'm going to start in the background um, and I'm going to mix up, I've, I've been a bit of a cheat here actually and I've got some green sitting, sitting waiting so I'm going to take that but obviously yellow and blue. Um, I'm going to mix a bit more blue to that, uh, ultramarine blue to that green and a touch of burnt umber. I said a touch of burnt umber and I went and absolutely killed it with burnt umber there. Overkill as pear. No, actually, I quite like that colour. No, I like that. That'll do this. That's a good one. So, some ultramarine blue, cadmium yellow if you've got it, uh, and burnt umber. I'm not going to take it right to the edge, I'm going to leave that space open for a lighter green. I want a slightly lighter green, um, but I'm actually going to just use the grey that I mixed up for the water in the sky there, and I'm going to mix that together so it's not quite a rich green um, in the background it's, it creates a kind of a distant uh, more subdued green so I'll pop that in there and it jumps out over here somewhere like that that shape and pretend detail in there. I'm also going to switch to a smaller brush just while I'm at it um, if I can find one of my smaller brushes. That's still not the one I'm looking for. That's the one. So smaller brush. I'm going to go back into that green again, the distant green colour that we've just applied. I'm going to add a little bit more shape in detail to these distant trees. Okay, 
So I'm going to work in this area down here. Um, I'm going to take care of the shadows first. Um, because it's the, the, the foreground, I want it to be uh, the area where the darkest darks are. So, if I can find my brushes, I'm going to mix up some burnt umber and ultramarine blue for my darkest darks, which looks a bit like that and some ultramarine blue, good equal measure of both there we go I'm going to pick out some nice shadows in, in, in the foreground so, so dot and dash it, I don't want it to be too dark close to the water because the, the leaves and things will start to break up as it gets close to the water's edge so. What I'll do is I keep going and absolutely covering the canvas with the colour that I didn't want to cover it with. What I see and what I do is two different things, isn't it? Anyway, while that dries, we'll go back into the, the water and the, the, the land and the distance and things like that. And, um, I'm too excited to get started in the water so I'm going to go do that first, I think. So I want, I want a flat brush to be easier. I'm going to find them. Nice little flat head. So I'm going to go straight in with some pure white. Um, I'm going to add a tiny little bit of blue to that. Something like that. But then as you come into the, the foreground, there's a bit more distance between them. I'm going to add a bit more blue to it. They get closer to the foreground here. Got more shape to these waves as they come in. Quite nice if you, you go into the distance and you can start picking out a little bit more detail. It's just pure white. Um, the land in the distance I'm going to create a kind of brown grey colour. So a little bit more burnt umber, ultramarine blue. I'm going to add a touch of green to this, a little bit more, and a little bit of white, that'll do it, that's one. It's actually maybe a little bit darker than I wanted in fairness, so we'll just put a little bit more white in there. woke up one morning at Loch Ken and it was a beautiful sunrise. The colours in the sky were absolutely amazing and we sat outside with a wee coffee and Max was running about the water. We watched the sunrise and it was just so calm and quiet and colourful. It was so beautiful. <laughs> and then I took this picture of a, a grey day and for some reason that's, it's, that's the one that I want to paint <laughs> other than the beautiful colourful one. Something I just loved about this one. I'm going to pick it a little darker shadows and things in the distant land. Um, it's not any real detail, it's just, just the impression of detail, isn't it? It's kind of darker at the horizon line than it is anywhere else. So I've got a little round brush now. Um, try out your brushes though, make marks and see what gives you a nice kind of leaf and 
gives you a nice branch and a bit of grass. Mm. I just learnt by doing. I didn't really know what all the brushes did. I just tried out different scribbles and different marks to see what each what each brush could do. Um, so I'm going to use a round brush to create some more leaves up here. I'm going to mix up a lighter green. So I'm going to cheat again and use the green straight from the tube, but obviously blue and yellow. Uh, I'm actually going to add a touch more yellow to it. And then a little bit of burnt umber. And a tiny little bit of white. That looks like the one. And then just add some well scribbles. I was going to say detail, but it's, it's absolutely no detail. It's just got to be convincing enough, isn't it? It is just scribbles. I should actually slow down what I'm doing here, um, but I'm kind of just moving the brush back and forward, and turning it. That's kind of the fast version of what you're seeing there. It's kind of But, but try and throw yourself in. Try and do it quite fast. You know, don't really think about it. Just let your hand do it. Just you know, have fun with it. You're not going to get this wrong. There's no wrong answers. Just while I'm waiting for everything else to dry, there's a little lady up here that looks kind of beachy. Um, so I'm going to pop that in. Uh, I can just find that flathead brush again. That would be ideal, which I cannot find. Can't find it. There's it. Um, and I'm just going to do a little bit of burnt umber uh, and a little bit of white. And that's it. Burnt umber and white. And we put that colour in there. Is that a little area there? Um, but now that I've had a bit of a chance to live with it, I think I'm going to go back into this water here and get some darker colours happening. You can hear the hesitation in my voice when I'm saying it because I'm not sure, but we'll go for it. A little bit of uh, burnt umber. That's not burnt umber. <laughs> but I'm going to take a little bit of ultramarine blue um, and a tiny little bit of burnt umber. And a little bit of white and does that look like what I want? Maybe a little bit more white. That was. Right, so get started on the bushes and the leaves and the flowers and everything that's, that's going on here. Um, this area here is actually the reason I chose this painting because there's, there's so much happening in it. I don't know if you can see that image there, but lots, lots happening here. And um, I don't know if I've ever painted something like that before, so I'm quite excited about it. Um, so I'm going to start, I'm going to go dark to light. And I'm just going to build up loads and loads of colours. So the next colour I want to focus on <coughs> is a dark green. In cheating, I'm, I'm using a bit of green here. Um, ultramarine blue. Uh, and a touch of brown. That's not the brown one, is it? It's here, brown. Um, and a dollop of plain and yellow. Cadmium yellow. If you were lucky to have bought that before the shop shop. I know that I'm jealous. So I'm going to mix up a, a blue grey colour, so ultramarine blue, burnt umber, touch of white, more blue than brown. Uh, I'm going to put a wash over this this water. 
Make sure all you got color. I'm going to go back in with some white, brightening up the top of this. Try and blend it into the wash that I've just put down. Just gave that little beach area a bit of definition while I was at it as well. I'm going to use a small brush, a really small brush, if I can find one. That's what I'll do. To pick out some reflections up here. So there's reflections in the water from the trees. Um, so I'm going to mix up uh, some ultramarine blue and some burnt umber, which is already there on my palette. But I'm going to mix that with one of the darker greens that I mixed up earlier. I don't think I want it to be too, too dark. And this bit's going to be a wee bit pernickety, so I'm just going up close here. And that's a long, long neck beach, and it's just little lines. I'm going to go back to my flat head brush, make sure it's clean, and I'm going to add some titanium white with a tiny little bit of blue and go back into these, these reflections. So I'm going to use my round brush again and I'm now going to go for an even lighter green so it's just a case of adding a little bit more lemon yellow or cadmium yellow to the green that you've already got on your palette um, and I'm going to pick out some lighter, lighter areas now so a bit lighter here. I'm going to try and keep this area as loose as I can. Also known as probably not loose at all, actually. Let's go. Got. I've added my ultramarine blue and lots of lemon yellow to get this colour, but I'm going to add a touch of burnt umber to it now. And I'll get a touch more ultramarine blue. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this colour for all the grass that then makes its way into the water. I'm using the brush on its side, yeah. So I'm going to bring more shadows in 
to close up the areas that are still left. So I'm going to do that with uh, Bug Umber and Ultramarine Blue. I'm going to mix it into the green though. So it's kind of a different shadow we're getting. Take it slightly over into this new area, but not all the way. Just blend it in there. It doesn't just come to a complete stop. So it's not a line of just pure dark and then green. You want to kind of blend that over. Okay, so I'm going to do an area of lighter green now, up here. So I'm going to mix up some cadmium yellow and ultramarine blue. I'm going to add a touch of brown to that, a touch of burnt umber. So we're going to use that just to create a little bit more shadow in here. Is it that same colour, I should say? I'm just trying to break up the globs of colour. There's some beautiful, kind of, burnt orange, dark browns um, and amongst here. So I would say that that was probably the next the next colour. Uh, so I'm going to mix that up. Uh, so I'm going to do that with some cad red, some lemon yellow, and that's far too bright. So I'm going to dull that down with some burnt umber. And I would say that's, that's the colour that I'm looking for. You can maybe add a bit of ultramarine blue to it actually, um, which I've just done there. Yeah, a little bit of ultramarine blue to that. Blend it in. I don't want it just appearing from nowhere so it sticks out like a sore thumb, so I'm going to blend it into the grass that's already there. Sometimes I actually think that I start to see colours that aren't there. But who knows? Like that? That'll do. Before I go any further with the detail in this this section, um, I'm going to get the trees in. I'm going to do that. So the, sh the trees have got quite strong shadows on them. Uh, so I'm going to start with that and do the burnt umper and ultramarine blue, the dark, the darkest colour that we, we mix. A good equal measure of both the colours. Um, I'm actually going to switch to my flathead brush for this. This one. It comes in from here. Mm -hmm. How thick is it? Let's see. Something like that. We'll go with that just now. There's three trees. This is the second one. That's, that's quite dark. It's quite thin to it, actually. The last tree, no. a bit more shape to this one, I'll have a bit more fun with this one. Take my brush for a bit of a walk here. And it's a little bit bound. Something like that. And 
and then I'm going to mix up where the light's hitting those trees so it's like a kind of lighter brown grey um, I'm going to use the orange that we used earlier but I'm going to add a little bit more ultramarine glue to it and then a bit of white a lot of white a bit more ultramarine blue in the lumber should we try that? let's try that I'm going to try and create texture here as we go as well There's not a lot of light on this tree, just, just a hint at it. Alright. Um, I'm going to use the smaller brush that I used for these little marks here. Uh, I'm going to create a little bit more pattern and texture on those trees. So I'm going to add a little bit more white to the mix that I've just used. That kind of brown grey. Not as much white on these though. I'll just hint at it a little bit. Uh, and same with this one, I'm going to a bit more. I actually want to bring a bit more burnt umber into that tree. Um, so I'm going to do that just now. I'm going to go into some detail now in the leaves and the grass and whatever else is put on down here. So I'm going to use a small brush and I'm going to mix up a nice bright green. Um, so I'm going to cheat again using the, the sap green from the tube, but obviously you just use cavium yellow, lemon yellow, blue, whatever you want. I need a little bit more blue, I think. That looks like the one. I pick out some nice wee bright leaves. Right, I don't want to overdo it with that colour, so that, that'll do. Um, but I am going to add a little bit of burnt umber to that colour. I'm going to add quite a bit of white. And I'm going to switch to my smaller brush. thin blades of grass
I'm going to go back in with this kind of dull orange colour. Um, that's not the yellow. So some yellow, touch of red. Um, burnt umber. You got more yellow, maybe? Right, I'll try that. So I'm using a small brush again. I'm just picking out little leaves and branches and things. I'm going to add a touch of white to that, that colour, so the colour that I've already mixed up, the, the kind of orange colour. I'm going to add a bit of white and I'm going to apply that colour now. Pick out some areas of light. Again, I don't want to go overkill, so just... A bit more light up there. Right now. I'm actually going to mix up um, the darkest colour again, the, the burnt umber and ultramarine blue together, and I'm going to bring some shadows back in. I'm going to stick with a small brush though, so that I can't take too much away. There's, there's a real area of shadow here that I've kind of lost so I'm going to bring that back in. And up here as well, some shadow that I've lost. Just mixing up a dark green, so ultramarine blue and lemon yellow, um, just to get a little bit of shadow up here. That shape's just too much of a blob. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of white and lighten that up. And a bit of lemon yellow. So I think the last thing to do is to get some more branches coming off of this tree up here. So, uh, back to the burnt umber and ultimately in blue, the darkest colour that we've got. I'm just going to take the smallest brush we've got for a wee walk.
going to add a little bit of white to that. But number nine coming blue mix. That is grey. Lighter grey. I'm going to do some branches in here. a little bit more detail in the foreground and I think that might just do this. No, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I need my shadows again and my burnt umber and ultramarine blue. And I need some reflections of this grass in the water. Actually, while I'm at it as well, I think I'm going to go back to these reflections and make them a little bit darker because I'm not quite happy with the colour of the loose. So, 